Alright, welcome everybody. This is Papa Sean. We're playing Ark Survival Evolved. We are on uh, Dodicarus, and looking at the stats here, Avalanche is 191, has 448 weight, 398 melee damage, and we are collecting a ton of stone, literally. Alright, we also got our weight Quetzal here, and let's take a look at this. Weight Quetzal. All right, so we've got 2,235 weight. We've got some metal, flint, some other garbage on here. Let's go ahead and keep some of these things. I think I can get rid of the rest here. Keep the, that as well. All right, so we're going to drop all these items I don't really care for. And then we're going to transfer these back over to the bird. So our goal is to collect as much stone as we can to fill up this bird in order to make cementing paste out the wazoo. So we're going to go ahead and drop the rest of these items. So as you can see, in just one collection of avalanche, we picked up 650 stone, a little bit more than that. So let's transfer all that over. Alright. Let's see how long it takes us to get all of that knocked out. Stop following me for a second there, birdie bird. We're just going to roll around, and there's going to be some obstacles, like, you know, scorpions. And these are between level 4 and 120. Uh, going to have to... Maybe I can kill them while killing the... Uh, getting the stone as well. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to go rescue the bird. Knock it off! Knock it off! So there will always be those obstacles about. But we are focused on getting that stone, so we're gonna return back to our task here. This guy's nearly full. So what was that? Maybe a minute? <coughs> we'll take a look after the video's done just how long it takes to top off a, a bird as, as big as this one. Okay, of course I got a little bit closer and I'll be fine. that stone. Get it over on the bird. And you use the Y key and that'll transfer it. Or rather the T key. Alright. you want to drop stuff really quick that you didn't want to have, you push the O key and it just drops it on the ground. T key is for transferring. If you hold shift down, it'll uh, make it in stacks of five, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so another 600 stone here. It's that quick. Okay, we got another obstacle. Our Quetzal, we just can't seem to leave alone. Take all. I'm encumbered. And come on. Was I really not that close? Oh, his head's right there. Maybe I can get his head. No. Oh, yep. Just spam that button. It's coming. No. 
There it goes. Just had to wait till his head came in within range. All right, so we've got 886 weight, mostly of stone, and that was three trips. So we're gonna say a minute to two minutes per stack. We should be able to knock out just a few more stacks of stone pretty quick here. And it's starting to get dark. You can go ahead and follow us. We're gonna go up. <clears throat> so the more melee damage you have, the more you're gonna collect as far as stone goes. And if you happen to hit a metal node and you don't care about wasting the metal nodes, you can get tons and tons of stone per hit on those. But Rock clusters are going to be much more prominent, especially around mountains and volcano. Alright. So looking at the weight of the bird, it's nearly topped off. One, maybe two more trips on the stone ought to do. And the nice thing about bringing a Quetzal as your pack animal is the Quetzal can pick up the Dodeco when you're done. So I, I am right next to our base over there. But if I happen to be out far from home, the Quetzal will be able to carry the Dodeco and all the stone or metal if you're using an Ankleo for similar task. <clears throat> so quite a game changer having the the pair of a Quetzal and just about anything. I once used a combat Quetzal and had a frog just following around so I'd kill all the bugs while flying around the swamp and then having the frog drop down and collecting all the cementing based off of the bugs after they've been killed. Works out pretty good. Alright, things are going to get really challenging to see right now. And I don't have a torch on me. So I think this ought to top us off here. We'll take this back and get our... <laughs> yeah, looking at the bag. We could probably do just a tad more. We'll hit this middle node just to show you how much stone you'll get from it. 109, one hit. Broke the stone. Compared to 53 on a stone node. <laughs> Alright, this cluster here ought to finish us off. Get to a point where I can barely see. Now if you needed to, you could modify your visual settings uh, on your video card. Especially NVIDIA, it's pretty easy. You can change the gamma. If you up the gamma, you'll be able to see in the dark. She spit at you? Well, that's not okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to wrap it up here. We got the bird following me back to, the, to our base over here. And I'll just demonstrate the picking up the, the Dodeco with the Quetzal in just a moment. So we can get over that wall a little bit easier. Alright, so we are on the Quetzal. And Avalanche is picked up, carrying him off into the moon as we fly up and into our base. Alright, so we are just starting to lose some of our, our speed. And we'll drop this guy off right about there, next to the pestles. And you are still wanting to follow, aren't you? Let's whistle that away. So let's count up how much stone we've got in here. And yes, I do have a lot of weight capacity of my own, so I'm going to carry a lot of it at a time. I'm going to take the junk off. 
And so if we look at the, the stone, we've got 1621 minus the saddle, which is 20, so 1600 weight of stone, which should be roughly 3200 stone if we counted it up. So that's uh, 1,000, no, 500 per, per row, so that's 1,000 here. And if you use that as a placeholder, that's 2,000. That's 3,000 and roughly 200, because I think there's a couple, like, yeah, there's 50 there. So 3,200 stone in just a few minutes there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So stone is super easy, and uh, if you needed to get chitin, I'm sure you, or chitin, I'm sure you know to, to use the saber tooths. Like this guy over here, yep, he's got a few hundred chitin on him. And we might have another kitty cat in the mix. So look at all that chitin. And being here near the volcano, there's actually a cave just beneath us here where you can go down and fight lots of scorpions, spiders, and dung beetles. You get that stone, bring it over to the pestles. Looks like we're all set up to make some spark powder too. Alright. So we'll just transport that over and make our cementing paste. But as you see, there's quite quite a few um, <laughs> rock nodes, quite a bit of chitin, uh, chitin available to us just in this close proximity. Excellent for making cementing paste. And cementing paste, as you know, is used for a lot of different buildings. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, please mash the like button, subscribe, and share. Uh, you just be transferring over this stone here. Uh, as you subscribe, it's going to be free to do all these things. Uh, but when you subscribe, you'll be notified about additional content as it's made available. And again, it helps me out tremendously. Uh, it helps uh, as far as like when videos are searched for on the web, the ones that have the most subscribers and views, those are the ones that get shown. Alright, well thanks again everybody for watching and we'll catch you next time.